We now get you the story of a man who was once regarded a superstar in the edtech world. But things have drastically changed and how? I am talking about Baiju Ravindran. It's been a rapid fall after a meteoric rise for him and his edtech startup Baiju's. It was once considered an icon in the Indian edtech space, the poster child of the startup world. In fact, in the year 2022, it reached a valuation of $22 billion. During the pandemic, its popularity skyrocketed. But over the last year, the popularity has plummeted. And as for Baiju Ravindran, someone whose rags to riches story became the talk of the town, now the story of a rapid decline in his net worth is dominating headlines. Let me show you these numbers first. A year ago, Baiju Ravindra's net worth was 17,545 crore rupees. That's $2.1 billion. In fact, he was a part of some lists of the world's richest people. You know what his net worth is now? Zero. That's as per the Forbes Billionaire Index 2024. You know what Forbes has said? Only four people from last year's list dropped off this time, including former EdTech star Baiju Ravindran, whose firm Baiju's was enveloped in a multiple crisis and its valuation was marked down by BlackRock to $1 billion, a fraction of its peak $22 billion valuation in 2022. The story began in 2011. That's when Baiju Ravindran founded Think and Learn Private Limited. That's the parent company of Baiju's. By now, most of you would have heard of Baiju's. It became a household name over the years, in fact. The services ranging from online tutorials to offline coaching. Ravindran comes from a family of teachers. He was born in the southern Indian state of Kerala. And after completing his schooling at a Malayalam medium school, he pursued a Bachelor of Technology degree from the Government College of Engineering, Kanur. He had a keen interest in teaching. He was a private math tutor before he started his company. And it was quite a glorious start for Baiju's, the learning app, in 2015. The flagship product of the company, it was claimed, it witnessed 2 million downloads within three months of the rollout. But cut to 2024, the company has been laying off people, salaries have been delayed. It also has been tackling delayed financial results. There have been a series of board member departures. And this is just a sample of the mounting woes. The list of troubles is long. And Baiju Ravindran has been in the middle of a full-blown crisis. Baiju's reported 45.6 billion rupees, that's $573 million in losses after several months of delay in reporting its fiscal 2021 results. It reported a substantial net loss exceeding $1 billion for the fiscal year ending March 2022. His wife, Divya, who helps him run the company, was one of his early students. And there was a time when Baiju's success story was talked about with hope and pride. In fact, it was said that they did not start this as a business, but a passion that ended up becoming a business. Baiju Ravindran reportedly pledged his under construction villa and his family members' homes earlier to pay salaries to employees. Reports say two homes owned by Ravindran's family in Bengaluru and his under construction villa were offered as collateral to borrow 100 crore rupees. He has gone from leading a $22 billion empire to reaching this point. From being a billionaire hero to cash zero. It's been quite a fall. Where does it even go from here for him and his company? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.